So now we will see how to import a CSV file for points into this AutoCAD Civil 3D. So for that I am just going to select point creation tools and here I have import points options. So just selecting it and after here you can just go for selecting the file. So this one I'm just going to choose. This is like having format of PENZD file and click open and here we should specify the point file format see n e z so nothing is thing and point elevation it's wrong and then we can go for the second one so this is not like this and the p e n z and it doesn't have any description then we should go for p e n z d so point number is thing nothing point elevation and also the raw description so this description could be useful uh, in later stage for uh, creating more point groups. Now all together if you want you can just go for add points to point group and you should select this for naming it. So normally we used to put the date. So I'm putting today date and click OK. And now I'm just going to click OK. Now double click See now we have got those points into our civil 3d platform Now this we can able to see from the point group. So this is what it is and all points we can able to see Okay See this one right click and then go for properties then we can able to see it is like having the point style basic and also point with elevation and description. But for the all points we can just go for properties. There is no point label. It is none only point style it is having basic. So what happens means like uh, when you click this point group over here not here. So on top of the point group itself right click and then go for properties and where you can able to like uh, make it up. See if I'm just uh, bringing this to up and I'm just going to apply and click OK. Now we can able to see which one on top accordingly like uh, civil 3D will uh, show us the point with the point styles and labels. OK now I'm just going for point groups right click and I'm just going for new so new point group which means so I'm just going to name as pond and uh, now I'm just going to take a point style as tree and also having point elevation and description and where we can just go for uh, raw description matching include in include I am just going to put uh, with raw descriptions matching putting P O and D and then I am just going for point list now we can able to see the uh, points having raw description pond see if you are not selecting anything from here in point list we can't able to see anything once you included something over here with the raw description or something then we can able to see the point list so it will get updated immediately here we have this much points having a pond raw description now we can just go for uh, apply and then ok now wherever the pond wherever the pond having these points it will be get updated okay now it is on top of the all points so in all points if you are putting no display uh, otherwise you can just go for a new group right click properties so right click and then new no display 
and it should not display anything so none and also none and go for override and I'm just going for apply and then click OK now we have a no display over here now I am just going for point group again and then properties now I am just going to put a pond on top of no display and I am just going to apply and then OK so still nothing happened then in no display we should go for properties and then in override we can just select uh, style point style everything and click OK and then OK Uh, in that case in point group we should select all points then we can able to go now I'm just going to put only the point groups all points I selected no overrides apply and then ok see like this we can able to like uh, just to go for only pond So on top of the no display we have pond so that's why we can able to see only the pond points see we have two ponds over there and then here so like this we can able to display our points now I'm just going for point groups again and property if you want everything to display then you can just put back so using this one and then apply and then ok so now we have all the points in our drawing